Okay, we have uh, the crankshaft out of our tractor, and I have uh, the oil draining. We're going to clean that out. It looks awful sludgy and nasty at the bottom. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to hone these two cylinders. And I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. First thing you want to check and make sure that your bore isn't goofed up. If it's really rusty and pitty and and whatnot like that, you might want to consider taking the cylinder off and doing a bore, uh, or taking the taking the block off and having it bored. Um, there, it's not grooved really bad at all. Uh, there is a little there's a little ridge there, uh, but that's pretty normal. Uh, kind of a ring ridge kind of a thing. Um, it's not really bad. So essentially uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to hone this. I'll show you how to do that. You want to use some lubricant and spray the cylinders with your lube. Don't do it dry. You can leave the block on if you want to. I got a big hone like this. You can use a dingleberry hone if you have one big enough. Usually they don't make them that big. Uh, this one has stones that you can make uh, bigger or smaller. I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to run this right down the center while I'm turning it. Oops. Hold on a second, folks. Just a moment. backwards and what it did was come undone so, okay we're back let me get that loop out of the way too let me take my old trusty Ryobi and uh, run this in and out of there You're going to want to go about the length of the connecting rod, back and forth. Probably I'm going to do that with going up through here, I think, instead of down there. It's a little easier. I'm going to shoot a little more lube on it. And uh, why, why should you do a hone? Well because it allows the rings to seat. Be careful about bringing that out. And we're just going to go in and out. Just like that. That's pretty nice right there. That's working really well. Okay. Now I can kind of smell it. It starts getting a little warm. And uh, I think we're doing pretty good. We're going to have a look at that with a with a light and make sure that our cylinders are they're cross hatching pretty well. You kind of want to cross hatch like kind of kind of cross hatch in there. I think it's like 45 degrees or so. Uh, but uh, you know to rough that cylinder up a little bit so your ring seat. But you want to rough it up the proper way. <laughs> and so that's essentially how you hone. Uh, if you've never tried it before and you have a. Oh, another cylinder that you can use. Yeah, it's, a, it's an idea that, uh, that you might want to try it on that cylinder before you go and do your yours. Uh, essentially, when I got done, done with that, I've got a lot of degreasing to do here. And on the other side, uh, I'm going to clean those cylinders out and oil them really good. 
Uh, I've got a lot of junk here uh, to clean. Here's my first reduction gear I want to clean. I cleaned a lot of parts the other day. There's my reduction gear cover and I want to get all the gunk out of my flywheel as well. And after we get that done, very possible we could start assembling. Okay, there you go.